There is a man to pray. There is a God to answer. Today is serious. And I'm going to tell you, after we are done with this prayer now, later in the day, a couple of hours from now, I want you to go back to it. Because it's like a series we are going to be doing for a couple of days on a particular scripture. But I'm going to start, I'm, not, I'm taking it in no particular order, I'm not ascending or descending order, but I'll just take it as the Spirit of God leads me. It's in 1 Kings chapter 3. And um, we'll read verse 25, 26, 27, 28. But tomorrow, by the grace of God, I'll read 18, 19, and all of that. But I'm just lead, reading as led by the Spirit. And the king said, divide the living child in two. And give half to the one. And half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king. For a boas yearned upon her son. And she said, oh my lord, give her the living child. And in no wise slay it. But the other said, let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, give her the living child. And in no wise slay it, her shaka. For she is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged and the fear the king. For they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment, to do judgment, to do judgment, to do judgment, to do judgment. To do judgment. Now this is a story about two women. We all know the story, popular story. They lived in the same house. They were harlots. One, they gave birth at the same time. One slept on a child. A child died before it was morning. He went and... Dropped the baby on, the, on a, uh, a colleague's bed and took the colleague's baby. We all know the story. We know the story. We know the story. But the revelation behind the story is what we are going to be praying on for the next couple of days. The revelation. We are going to be praying on the mysteries behind the story. The Bible says, and then Solomon said, divide the baby. The woman said, no, don't divide the baby. Don't divide the baby. The baby is my baby. Don't divide the baby. Don't divide the baby. This is my child. Don't divide my child. My destiny, my life, my life cannot be divided. Don't divide my life. God is looking for people that will come to his altar today and cry out. People that will say, let God arise. My destiny cannot be divided. My marriage cannot be divided. Amen. My health cannot be divided. Amen. When the devil cannot take that which God has given you, he tries to divide it. There are so many of our oh, in Exodus chapter 10. If you read from verse 24, 25, 26, the Bible says, And Pharaoh said unto Moses, You can go, but let your flock stay behind. You can go, let your head stay behind. You want me to release you? You go, let your little ones stay behind. That is exactly what is happening to a lot of us. Satan said, Okay, you can go and serve God, but I'll hold your money. You can go and serve God, but I hold your marriage. Hey! My destiny cannot be divided. Amen. You will type that on your handle. Type it now. That my destiny cannot be divided. Amen. You will type it on your handle. You will type it. You will type it right now. My destiny cannot be divided. Hashtag wonders without number. Type it on Facebook. Type it on Instagram. Type it on YouTube. Type it on WhatsApp. Type it on your WhatsApp story. Let the kingdoms of darkness hear. My destiny, Maninta Gamba Lada Soka Pala, cannot be divided. Hey, you must say, no, don't divide the baby. Do you know? Do you know Moses said to Pharaoh, he said, no, we are going, our flocks are going. Our heads are going. I'm prophesying on you that you will rise. Amen. Your health will rise. Amen. Your children will rise. Amen. Your finance will rise. Amen. Your career will rise. Amen. You cannot serve a living God and live a low life. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Redemption is not reduction. How come you are rich spiritually? You are not rich financially. How come you are rich spiritually? And your health is a mess. Your destiny cannot be divided. Amen. Something trying to split. I like what Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 14. He said, whatsoever God does abide there forever. Nothing can be added. Nothing can be taken. It cannot be divided. Ecclesiastes 3, 14. God does that, that man might fear him. No koso we are going to lift our voice in prayer. Type it. 
We said that seven times. Seven times my destiny cannot be divided. Oh, Rata. Do you know in Matthew chapter 25, if you read from verse 8 to verse 9, when the foolish, the foolish virgins told the wise one, give us some oil. He said, not so. Not so, please. Not so. The foolish one said to the wise, give us out of your oil for our lambs are gone out. Yeah, what the, the wise said in verse, verse 9. He said, not so. Let there not be enough for us and you. In other words, we are not dividing it. We are not sharing this thing. Hey, there's a fullness of God in your life. There's a fullness of God that God has ordained and promised for you. You are not sharing it. You are not sharing your marriage. Yeah. You are not sharing it. Your marriage cannot be divided. Amen. Your children's full destiny cannot be divided. Amen. You are going to lift your voice and pray. We are going to say seven times. And then you will turn down the voice of prayer. My destiny cannot be divided. The devil has no say in this matter. Let God arise. Restore my destiny fully. They turn my life fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what the Bible says. It said that they may have life and have it more abundant, abundant, abundant. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Abundant. God has ability to restore your destiny fully. In Job 42 and verse 2, the Bible says, I know that thou canst do all things and nothing can be withholding from thee. God is able to do all things. God is able. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 21, the Bible says, able to subdue all things. Ephesians chapter 7, uh, Hebrews chapter 7 rather, verse 25, the Bible says, God is able, is able to save to the uttermost them that come to God through him, believing that he ever liveth to make intercessions for them. Daniel 3, 17, the three blue boys said to the king, our God is able. Our God is able. Our God is able. Nothing is difficult. Genesis 18, 14, is there anything to add for the Lord? Jeremiah 32, 17 and 27. Jeremiah 32, 17 and 27. Ah, Lord God, thou made the heavens and the earth by thy great power and by thy outstretched arm. Nothing is hard. You said this seven times. My destiny cannot be divided. 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 You will say it after the count of two, loud and clear. And as you say, the devils of hell will be shaken. Amen. Amen. Number one. My yes. destiny yes. cannot yes. be divided. Yes. Number two. My destiny yes. cannot yes. be divided. Yes. Number three. My destiny yes. cannot yes. be divided. Yes. Number four. My destiny yes. cannot yes. be divided. Yes. Number five. My destiny yes. cannot be divided. Yes. Number six. Yes. My destiny yes. cannot be divided. Yes. Number seven. My yes. destiny yes. cannot be divided. Yes. Say, my father, my father. My my father. My my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. My destiny cannot be divided. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus, Lord.